What's going on guys? Hope you're having a good day and today we got a good video for you. I always say that so I hope the videos are actually good. Today we have a mystery vehicle. The guy originally said we're doing three cars but that's not the plan today. They were going to be like um, not like full packaged cars but they're going to be like an express detail where I like vacuum instead of sham shampoo and like I do the plastics but not like my second run on it and uh yeah stuff like that um i think that's what i'm doing on his car but i'm doing the two other cars in a different location another day so it is what it is gotta work with what yeah what, what you got and you gotta work with the elements i guess so it's been actually pretty good the weather is cloudy but it's like 45 50 degrees out so it's beautiful i go i'll take it in the winter um especially like the dead of winter um but yeah, guys, let's get on the road. Um, I still am using my friend's car because the BMW is having a lot of problems. Typical BMW, but uh, this car is a hatchback. It's a little smaller, but uh, this client has electricity and water, so, so we're saved. So let's go, guys. I forgot my other phone. Alrighty, so we got almost all the stuff. I drove the Beamer to their work picked up their car but we did forget some stuff i need my extension cord i need my ring light to record the videos and i also need my charger I need another one so let's go oh also the back glass on my bmw just broke because i tried to get into it and it shattered so we're having a great day what's going on guys here is my client's car it's a 2019 toyota Tacoma trd pro and boy oh boy is this thing beautiful the outside looks like it is in very good condition as it is a pretty new car but let's go into the interior here interior actually looks fairly clean for a truck this is going to be a maintenance wash so it's not going to be a full detail, but you know, if it's easy to vacuum, then the more stuff comes up, but trust me, I'll take care of them. It's Dunlop Customs and we don't do anything ordinary. We do everything amazing in this company. So let's get into it, guys. Alrighty guys, we're all done with the plastics now. We're gonna move on to the carpets. Carpets don't look too bad. Um, I might be able to get it with a carpet, but I'm just gonna use a little hand brush just to make sure everything looks nice and clean and neat. Um, but other than that, should be a breeze. Car's not that dirty, but uh, you know, Japanese carpets can be a little bit of a pain because they're just more made out of like more Velcro-y material, but we got the power. And we got the strength. We got this, guys. Let's go.
are done with the carpets that actually came out really good we only had to do a vacuum in the back seat front seats need a little bit more don't usually do a vacuum or like a um, wet brush um, in express details but you know i'm a nice guy i like to make things look good so what can i say um we did forget three crucial things a the stand that holds my phone to record uh, we have different camera angles today as you can see um, I don't know if they're better or not. I had to improvise, shove them under the, the seat. So I, I did what I could. Had to make a video, had to continue the grind. So it is what it is. Um, so now we're gonna move on to the exterior. Well, this car does not have the water tank because I'm borrowing a car. So now I have to use the hose. Where's the hose you ask? The hose is in my car um so we're gonna have to fill up a bucket splash the car fully and then hit it with the soap and then proceed to clean it <sighs> making my life hard today but whatever let's get into it guys guys i'm sorry about that um the wind wanted to be the wind and put my phone directly up to the sky so it is what it is i dried it off twice one normal size microfiber and then another a little bit larger uh, microfiber to soak up all the streaks that the first one left because the first one always leaves a little bit like i don't know water marks and etc but yeah outside came out fantastic with the conditions we're dealing with so let's get on to the tires Alrighty guys, we got one more thing to do, and that is the rubber floor mats, which are decently dirty, so no further ado, let's get into it guys. Alrighty guys, we are all done with this client's car. As you can see, the wheels came out fantastic. I had to hit that like six million times because those, those wheels are so complex. But uh, yeah, the white came out great. There was uh, definitely a nice layer of dirt on this paint, but uh, scrubbed it pretty nice. Remember guys, this is just a maintenance wash. I did go a little above and beyond for a maintenance wash, but if you see little specks of dirt here and there, that is why it is not the full detail. But it still came out fantastic and worthy enough to post. So here is the interior. Did some nice leather conditioner, plastic dress, cleaned out the center console, cleaned the screens. 
and they came out fantastic. Wasn't that dirty of a car, but definitely made it look better. Alrighty guys, have a wonderful day. I'll see you back at home. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Wasn't a dirty car whatsoever. It was more of a maintenance watch, a wash, but I'm too nice. Like every time I start, I have to finish things incomplete. So I don't know how I'm gonna implement maintenance washes into my business because I always want to go over the top. But either way, customer was super happy because he got more than what he was expecting. Either way, car came out great. Happy customer. That's all I care about. Alrighty guys, if you like this type of stuff, please consider subscribing and be a good person, be kind to others, and have a wonderful day. Thanks guys.